what's up guys welcome to my channel if you are new yet my name is divine i'm a musical five minominak drummer and a keyboardist i have been for many many years i started making these videos as a space for music lovers like myself to check out our favorite artists and break down some of our findings that make them so so fantastic make sure you follow us on instagram at the perseverance reaction in order to recommend the favorite singers for us to react to What's up YouTube? Hope you guys are feeling good. Today guys, we're back again to a new video. Today I'm your my beautiful guest. Hello, hello y'all. I'm Victoria, Vix Beauty, precisely. And I'm going to be with you guys today. Okay, today we're going to be reacting to Man Shuts Down Delusional Woman with Fats. Okay. I'd love to check this out. You know how these guys who talk less very don't we ask more? Let's get into this video. You should be asking women what it means to be a woman, especially trans women, who, what it means to oh, be a woman. I'm asking all kinds of people. Can't anyone have an opinion about it? Only people who are women. But I have, it's not like I come around and say what a gay man is allowed to be. So you're saying, so you're saying if you're not a woman, then you shouldn't have an opinion. Where does a guy get a right to say what a woman is? Women only know what women are. Are you a uh, cat? No. Can you tell me what a cat is? You want to talk what a woman is? You're just a bigot. You can go. Oh, what makes me a bigot, ma'am or sir? I'm not sure. I didn't misgender you, did I? Oh, please go fuck yourself. Oh, that's not very ladylike. Oh, oh, now you're fucking misgendering me. How dare you? Ladylike. Oh, well, uh, what are you exactly? No, no, you're fucking business. What are you? But you said I misgendered you. If I don't know what you are, how can I not misgender you? Statistically, it is true that Asians, right, on average, make more money, better test scores, get into better colleges, all that stuff. I think the question is, why is that? And I don't know, if model minority, whatever that label wants That's to be. That's actually a not, myth because not, we cannot be... Um, well, no, listen, well, let me finish my point. We need to observe what makes people successful and unsuccessful. And I think when you look at trends that are generally true in the Asian community, not of everyone, but are generally true, usually you have families that are sticking together. You have people are taught to work hard in school, not get into trouble. I think that translates to why Asians on mass are successful. And I don't think you have to be Asian or white for that matter to not have kids out of wedlock, not, you know, commit crime, what? not not cause trouble what or whatever happening? it is. It's just a matter of like, well, common sense. That's what makes people successful. And if that's so-called assimilation, having a nuclear family, buying a house, going to school, whatever it is, then yeah, okay, call me a pro-assimilation then. I think there's a difference between assimilation and erasure. Yes. Welcome to 2023 where you basically can now offend people for praising a community for having good values. I mean, the dude basically said, work hard, study, stay out of trouble, and everybody got offended. I mean, that tells me everything I need to know about them. I mean, look at this guy in the green jacket. He's got the emotional maturity of a middle schooler. I don't get this Sam Smith thing. It just seems like every week he deliberately... They. Why is one person they? Because that's how they identify. Why have I got to go along with it? Because they've asked you to. Sam Smith. <laughs> To me, he's just on an ever deteriorating campaign to be as vulgar and defensive as he possibly can. Am I missing something? He's doing what pop stars have done for decades, which is trying to shock. And the thing that makes it different from other people is that when Justin Timberlake or Rihanna or someone stripped down, they do so because they look good, like their bodies look good. Sam Smith is like pudgy and very ugly. You know what? You're both cis, white, straight men. You can carry on. I'm not a cis anything. Uh, first of all, I am white. Secondly, I am a man. Thirdly, I've been out and gay my entire adult life. I was out as gay when you were still prancing around talking about whether or not you were. It's a shame to the queer You know community. what? I'll tell you who's really embarrassing. <laughs> I'm not a member of the queer community, working here, working you hard. stupid sod. Men do not <laughs> menstruate. Only women menstruate. Now, you can call yourself Cis whatever you want. Cis men don't menstruate, but trans men do menstruate. No, Same they as don't. non-binary people. <clears throat> Only women. Menstruating is not exclusive yes, to it cis is. women. No, it's not. Yes, it is. So explain you're, to me as to why my body menstruated are, at some point. If you're chromosome... Imagine that. So explain to me as to why my body menstruated at some point. All I'm going to say is, if a biological man bleeds from his genitalia, he needs a doctor ASAP. That's all I'm going to say. You need to seek medical attention. Run the damn ambulance! It's our XX 
and you're young, you menstruate. If you're XY, you don't. Correct, but what about trans men and non-binary? We're not excluding men. a whole group of they're, people They're women that dressed as men. Well, what's a man to you? You define a man for me. You have chromosomes that are X and Y. That's what a man is. So why are we just looking at the, 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 the science of this as an the example? The science. When we've learned sex and gender sex. identity are two very, they're completely different things. They're not completely different They are things. completely different. They're completely different words. And sex is what you're born with, the sexual reproductive organs you have. Gender is what you identify with. They're completely different Well, I don't accept things. that distinction. You have to argue for it. You're just giving a conclusion. You're, you're just making it up. If anyone is on the fence about which side to believe, look at their faces. Yeah, that's true. If you compare the man to, I don't even know what the other one is. Is it a woman? I don't even know. But yeah, if you compare the two people, we can see which one's crazy. It's hard to win an argument with a smart person, but it's damn near impossible to win an argument with a stupid person. The woman in black is crazy. I'm with this guy. Finally talk some sense into these people. As a 23 year old male, I can confirm I do not menstruate. <laughs> I mean, as if we needed that lesson, do you know what I mean? That's, that's the world we're living in today. This is the result of parents never telling their child no. People have become so delusional that we have to teach them basic biology. I wish my bank account would identify as a millionaire. Yeah, don't we all? He's calm and persistent without being rude. Yeah, he was, he was pretty calm to be honest. And then the last one, the insanity is so clear in their eyes. That's so true look at this look at these last three people we've just watched the eyes say it all look at look at their eyes it's like a window to nothing you know what i mean but anyway let's check out the next clip so i just got yelled at for asking a very reasonable question sure so i'm applying to go somewhere and i just wanted to know are there accommodations for people who struggle with time blindness and being on time that's not a real thing and then the person i was with interrupted and acted like i was asking something else and then when we were done they actually started yelling at me and saying that accommodations for time blindness doesn't exist and if you struggle with being on time you'll never be able to get a job yeah well yeah you know provided you're trying your absolute best to be there and then they're like your stupid generation wants to destroy the workplace it's true all of it and yeah i think that a culture where workers are just cut off because they struggle with being on time when there's other solutions that we can look to. I think that just anybody who thinks it's okay to just treat people like that, yeah, that culture needs to be dismantled. Power to the people! Burn it down! And then I asked that person, how can you feel good about yourself upholding this kind of system? It's actually pretty easy. And then to think, I'm entitled. No, if people think it's okay to treat others like this, I, that's entitlement. That's the dumbest thing I've ever heard in my life. There's a strange kind of stupid going through our society. She's holding a smartphone to film a video about time blindness when she could just set an alarm and shut the fuck up like the rest of us. Yeah, it's called wake up earlier and get to work. Her parents failed. Wow, like her generation the rest of us. Assumed. You know what? I'll bet money that she never leaves work late due to time blindness. I mean, I bet she only ever has problems getting to work, but leaving work, no problem. Always on time, sometimes even early. 10 ways you say the N-word without saying the N-word. No, 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 not again, not again. If you use any of these terms or phrases in reference to black people, you are just as racist as the person that actually uses the N-word. Here are the words. And here we go. Thug. Ghetto, welfare queen, lazy, race baiter, race grifter, threatening, angry, dangerous. Or you say that we're playing the victim or we are a diversity hire. Anything else? What you actually mean to say is the N-word. Hmm. Well, that is one way to say it. Just stop it. If you say these words or phrases, you are calling us the N-word. If you say these ignorant racist terms or phrases around your children, you're also teaching your children to be racist just like you. Never gets old. Oh. Basically, you can't criticize her in any shape or form because she's gonna take no accountability. If you criticize her, she's gonna say, oh, you're racist. Her lack of self-awareness and victimhood status is like galactic levels. I have a student in one of my classes that's homophobic, transphobic, sexist. Um, purposefully misgenders me. Uh, back in September, I tried to get him moved to another class because it had just been an ongoing issue. And not only was he rude and disrespectful, he was just like not trying um, and wouldn't take direction, would constantly argue with me. I went to the counselors today. I've been asking for a parent-teacher conference for months now. Hasn't happened, counselors won't set it up. Um, but when I mentioned uh, the fact that he's misgendering me on purpose, I was told, well, some religions, you know, they don't have to do that because some religions don't agree with that. So they don't have to. Yo, respect to that kid standing for what he believes in. Basically the truth. He stands by biology. Oh yeah, crazy liberal. They're so inclusive. But if you disagree with 
their woke bullshit, then they're gonna try and get you kicked out of class. I mean, look at her little lip quivering, all because they stood up for the kid. You're an adult and you're sitting in your car filming a video, putting it on the internet, and your lips quivering because a kid wouldn't abide by your delusional bullshit. Living women matter more than potential babies. What is it? What do you mean? If it's a potential baby, what is inside of a woman? It's a fetus. Is it living? No. no. How can it grow if it's not living? Actually, actually, that's like saying if an acorn is a tree. Fundamentally denying science to validate you, your opinion. You, you actively, you actively deny science, ma'am. How am I denying? What science did I deny, Darby? Um. Okay, so let's look at some posters of- Oh look, here we go, she's turning around. <laughs> she's looking at handwritten posters, the, the origin of her sources for where she gets her information. Over here. When does the fetus become living? Um, that's actually a good question, but that line- Yeah, of course, because you don't know it. Gotcha, bitch. Oh, living. oh. Okay. <laughs> um, it's interesting. <laughs> this is really, really good. We have some people in this world <laughs> who have made that health issue <laughs> because they are, the number is increasing. <laughs> this is getting so much alarming. Um, the last part that lady talking about the abortion stuff, uh, they should not stop the abortion. Uh, she's talking nonsense. She's trying to stand out, like she's saying the truth, but she's not knowledgeable about what she's saying because if a baby is in you and it's growing, it's living. <laughs> but she's feeling like, nah, 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 you have the right to take it out. But when you're taking it out, it's, it's actually abortion, it's actually killing a child. You get that? So, I love that other lady who was just cool, calm, just wants to hear what she wants to see. Also proving her fat. I love that. I love how cool she was or how calm she was to answer that young lady. The entire video itself was amazing. Different people coming out with different thoughts about different things. <laughs> I just thinking over my mind like the numbers of people who are delusional in this world is <laughs> getting much many. <laughs> this is getting way, way serious than we'll see. Because is it that, that teacher who was offended that the other student stand out for himself and she was offended? Like, how dare you get offended for a child who stand up for himself? He knows what he's talking about. He knows biology more than you. This is so funny. This is it's funny for me because I feel like those people are delusional and they have to get themselves checked. They need someone who is mature enough to talk to them. So uh, these are the people who need proper counsel. There's a lot. What do you think? I think at this point, we need a whole lot of good biology teachers and lecturers because... These people are crazy. Talking about that lady that's trying to promote abortion and all of that, she's so dumb because she's trying to call a child non living and it's a child. Why then is it called a child? <laughs> and also, the rest of, oh my God, crazy shit that happening over there in this world. Like, the rest, the rest, um, transgenders trying to promote the Athene with um, a whole lot of confidence and and it's crazy honestly it's so crazy i don't know but it's really really crazy and i, and I love that child please teach a child the right thing so they can be able to stand f stand out for yourself wherever they are and so they won't actually get the wrong perspective of things and leave with it it's, it's crazy because the world is really crazy so they won't start thinking about being um a, a transgender again per se Please teach your child the right thing. Please. So guys, comment below what you think about this video. Give us a thumbs up. Share this video to as many as you can. Subscribe to YouTube channel, guys. You know how it is. We'll see you guys in the next video. Make sure you stay safe. I just want a bag like an old lady. I'm back wood smoking. I don't own papers. Pass that 808. That don't, don't shake her. Oh, bitch, you know I'm grinding like a pro skater. Baby, mama bugging. I'm so quick to hit ignore. Buku, bitch, in my bed. I got scales all